ti chiami, which means what's your name, and piacere. Piacere is what you say when you meet someone. Piacere. So don't forget about what we learned last week. We also learned what to say when we were leaving. So we already know arrivederci and ciao. And the other one was a dopo, a dopo. And that means see you later. Okay, so don't forget about those things that we learned last week. So this lesson, lesione 29, we are going to talk about some other things that you say when you meet people. So when you're going to Italy and now you can say things like, oh, you know the weather, quanti tempo, tempo, oh, bruttissimo, or che bella tempo, or piove. So you can talk about the weather, you can talk about how old you are, and now you'll be able to talk about what kind of sports people like. Now I've got someone who's super sporty, her name is, well you'll see what her name is, so come on in, and she's going to help me, come a bit closer to me, she's going to help me um, explain how you meet people. So the first thing I'm going to ask is, ciao, come ti chiami? Come ti chiami Maisie. Maisie, so come ti chiami means, how, what's your name, and, and come ti chiami, and you say Maisie. Now, I'm going to ask Maisie another question. Let's see if she can understand Italian. Quanti anni hai? Nove. Nove anni. Who knows what, how many years Maisie is? Are you thinking, are you counting it out? Let's do it together. Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei. Sette, otto, nove. So Maisie is nine years old. Ooh, nearly double figures, Maisie. Um, okay, so today we are learning, let's, we're going to practice the Ella song that we learned last week and because Maisie is a great singer, she's going to help me. So the first part is, ciao, ciao, come ti chiami, come ti chiami, mi chiamo signora Stepic, mi chiamo Maisie, brava, so that's the song, let's do it one more time, ciao, ciao. Come ti chiami? Come ti chiami? Mi chiamo Signora Stepic. Mi chiamo Maisie. I hope you sang along as well. Okay, so we've learned how to say mi chiamo. Now we want to find more about the people that we meet. So we're going to say, mm, oh, first of all, let's talk about some of the sports we're going to learn about. So Maisie, see if you can guess what sport this is. Hmm, okay. Swimming. Swimming. Okay, so swimming. It did look like I was doing a groovy dance move, but you're right, it was swimming. So swimming is nuoto. 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 Yeah, so when you see someone and you want to find out if they like to swim, you say, ti piace nuoto? So I'm going to ask you, Maisie. Ti piace nuoto? Ti piace si. Si. So you just say si. So if someone says ti piace nuoto, you say si. Let's try again. Ti piace nuoto? Si. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's two answers. Si or no. I'm going to ask you. Ti piace nuoto? If you like swimming, you say si. And if you don't, you say no. Or if you kind of like it, you can go cosi cosi, cosi cosi. Okay, let's try another one. I'm going to act out another um, sport. All right, right. Okay, no, I can't act this out, but I'll do the finish. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Wow, that's so clever. So bravissima. So gymnastica. Gymnastica. Yeah, so it's like gymnastica, but we just say gymnastica. 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 Okay, now I'm going to uh, ask Maisie the question. Ti piace gymnastica? Si. Si. Now I'm going to ask you the question. Ti piace gymnastica? Did you say si or no? Or così così? All right, let's do another sport. 
let's do this one. Soccer. Soccer. Oh, you are so good at guessing. Okay, so soccer is calcio. 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 So, ti piace calcio? No. No. Ti piace calcio? Sì o no? O così così? Mm -hmm. Ti piace calcio? So, uh, we've got three sports. There's nuoto. Do you remember what nuoto is? Do you remember? Um, swimming. Swimming. What about gymnastica? Do you remember what that is? Gymnastics. What about calcio? Soccer. Soccer. Bravo. So we've got tre sporta. So I'm going to ask Maisie now, what sport do you like? So, che sport? Ti piace. Um, Just say it in English, it's okay. Ballet. Ballet. You know the weird thing is in Italian, dancing is ballare. Ballare. It's a famous song. So it sounds a bit like ballet actually. So ballet is, I will just call it general dancing for, the, for just today. We're going to say ballare. So, ti piace ballare? Si. Si. Bravo. So, what I want you to learn about is, ti piace calcio? I want you to learn to ask people around the room about that. Or maybe you might like to play the game of acting out the sport you like. And if you want to, your teacher can even just Google it in Italian to find out how to pronounce your sport in Italian. Um, also, we, I want you to ask people, ti piace calcio? Ti piace ginnastica? Ti piace ballare? And I want you to remember what to say. Si, no, o, così, così, which is maybe a little bit. Um, so then, uh, let's do a, perhaps in your Italian books, you could draw a picture of what you like and you the way you say I like is you say mi piace mi piace so mi piace ballare mi piace ballare so we both like dancing we're connected like that um, okay let's do the goodbye song I know that you may not know this but let's start off with doing the wave just do this la lesioni etanita E ora di andare, arrivederci, arrivederci, e ora di andare. So, e ora di andare, it's time to go. However, last week we learned how to say see you later and we talked about it at the start of this video. So we learn how to say see ya and it is this, a dopo. A dopo. So I'm going to... A dopo, Maisie. A dopo, signora Steppe. Bravo. Grazie, ciao. Ci vediamo. Ciao. Ciao.